enjoyed a lot watching. That's uh, on the bottom right there is Fua and Herb. They're actually together IRL too, which really makes it. Oh, that's, uh, that's what I was thinking. I was like, are they in like, a relationship or something? Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Hashtag relationship goes, man. Like, who said you can't do it in Smash, man? Settle it here, man. There it is, man. And then we got uh, obviously Kirahara, another really talented Japanese player. One of the better Rosalinas you'll ever come across. And of course, Captain Zach, man, he's no introduction. And oh, especially after that performance that what was that Genesis? Genesis yeah, he oh went my off, gosh, man. man, that man right there went ham. Yeah, a lot of the people know him for his singles, but uh, his doubles, man, he got good double uh, prowess as well. So what I mean, he brings to the table. I mean, you can't sleep on Bayonetta at all. Period. Like in singles and and needs to say in doubles because of course she can, she still has those confirmed, but now she has the help of Rosalina and Luma, yeah. and then knockback factor that they bring to the table is just outstanding. But oh my God, speaking of knockback I'm factor, you, man, that forward smash. Keep an eye on Fua, man. You're gonna notice a lot. She is the forward smash queen, and and that's actually one of like um, Lucina's like more prominent kill moves. Oh yeah. So definitely gonna see that quite a bit here. And oh my gosh, that witch time. Witch time, right? They gotta interrupt it a little bit, but Zach's still able Yo. to find a way to get that kill. And that's one thing about Bayo and doubles. I really like the fact that it almost seems like witch time is even more threatening because there's that much more chaos going on. No call drop there, man. That man has perfect signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, taking him all the way up. No beautiful DI there. Oh wow. All right, and doesn't kinda... Earth no normally use dark pit? Is that correct? Well, I know that we see him play, uh, you know, pit a lot, but I think for doubles, they're kind of going with this, like, themed um, Lucina and Corrin team, and I've really enjoyed it a lot. I Yo. think it's been working out pretty well for them, too. This is it's kind of good to see Earth play another character, too, right? I, I haven't, before this event, actually seen his Corrin in action, so this has been a really uh, good treat for me. Oh, I'm kind of jealous, man. <laughs> Why can't I find a bait like that, man? Come it's, team with me. Oh, my oh God. My God that that oh, let's go. I don't need Luma. No Luma needed. That was actually ridiculous, man. Kirihara just being very clever right there and actually gives his team the lead here. We're going to see how much they can press the issue right now. He's actually doing a good job with this aggressive uh, approach here towards Earth. Really just no fear. Just going in. And one thing to note is, is how red, how efficient Red Team has been yep. again Luma, but you cannot get rid of that fist. Yo. Really good witch time right there. All that I miss all that chaos, man. Zach knows when to throw it out. Boy, get the job done. And that literally what separates like the, the great players from like the, the, the casuals. Sure. Like no that situational awareness. No I wouldn't call any of these guys casuals, but I, mean, I understand, I understand but, the point. No, you're no, making. I would no, I would definitely <laughs> not call them. Yo, please don't run back the tapes and get me like no. I would not call these guys casuals at all. Jeez. And I feel you. This has been I mean really good contest thus far. We're definitely seeing uh, how the game has really just started to favor Zach Kirihar. Really jumped out to a good leader. Just holding position so well. I like that. I like that spacing with the bullets there. Nice pump face. I like how Kirihar is just, uh, absolutely just fearless. Stays in the fray despite Luma not being present for those 13 seconds. He was not worried about a thing right there. And that's been the entire match. Like with, Luma, with no Luma present, he's still been very aggressive. Good hit right there from my man Earth. Oh, and that I, follow up. Yeah, what a pickup. And that was tremendous right there because they're trailing, obviously, percent not favoring them, but the fact that they could get into a last stock situation could be the spark they need. Yeah, but that percentage, man, is looking very yeah, bad. Man, and just, just like, I say that yeah. off the top. Zach is really good at just kind of just diminishing those sparks I was talking about <laughs> <laughs> without too much effort right there. So we see Earth here have to go it alone. 125. That corner not looking too healthy here. And oh, that man. is a beautiful pickup on the part of Captain Zach right there. That back air just waiting, and it gets the job done. So that's a really solid performance right there for Kirihara uh, and Captain Zach to open us up with. Definitely. What's the deal with the mask, man? I have that question. Have you ever questioned this? Well, I think, mask? you know what? I actually believed at one point it was uh, to prevent yourself yeah. from getting sick. But people tell me sometimes it's for the benefit of other players as well. Like, if you're not feeling too well, you know, you're kind of trying to keep all that in. I personally think when it comes to Zach, though, it's just a fashion statement. Yeah, that boy, exactly. yeah, about, that man about as sassy as it gets. Notice how the mask matches the outfit. I just like to point, oh, just like to point that out. You got to coordinate, quick. man. You got to coordinate. Can't say I was wondering about that, but yeah. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm more or less thinking like it's for the hot breath. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of has like a, a menthol like it, filter. Man. I filter think it's it. um, I think it's one of those standout things. I mean, I don't know. I, I see people do it all the time. It's just, I think it's kind of just like it, it's a, uh, it's a, it's an in the mood kind of thing, like. Kind of like trending. Yeah. Like Migos. There you go. <laughs> Look, Bad I, I, I caught him. I caught him with that. Bad I saw some comments come out. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A so. little deliberation going on right now. Um, I wonder if Fua and Earth are considering switching characters here. 
I think for the most part, they've stuck with this team composition throughout the tournament. So perhaps no reason to abandon it now as we go to Smashville and for our second game here, running it back. And ultimately, you have to look at Corrin's like kill option as opposed to a dark pit. Definitely does a better job as, as far as taking those stocks. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely would uh, much rather team with the uh, <laughs> with the corn. If I had the option, man. Either way, though, any character this guy touches is going to be tends going, to man. do pretty good. Again, here we are, game number two, running it back. To Smash, we're looking for a better start. Really, it was kind of just Kiriara and Zach controlling the pace from the jump in that last encounter. And you see Zach is again, but so good with these conversions, using that wish twist, just kind of push forward. So off the much stage off and then pressure. dropping the thickest leg you ever did see outside of a barbecue, getting the job done. Lord yo, have mercy. Get a little caddy there, man. Yo, Ben, and I'm like, yo, you were here before, I'm but I'm you. the closer. I told you, man, Zach does not play around this guy. This really is a uh, phenomenal play all around. I'm just waiting for the, the pop-off. Like, his pop-offs are, like, golden. Afterwards, the poses. Definitely an uh, animated individual right there. Again, doing a good job. Knocking him back off the right stage with the witch twist. It's really just all about just applying more pressure, making it that much more difficult to recover. And we have three, three characters on the screen. I mean, <laughs> blue team does. I mean, how can you lose? Ooh, good hit. And there goes Luma <laughs> for the moment. Oh, nice. I like the patience by Earth, man. Saw Kiriara was falling. Knew when to strike with that up there and got the good hit on it, too. Those aerials before and are ridiculously strong. Was that a back air that, that kind of took that stop? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got an even contest yet again. And really, despite... Oh, oh man, no, that is the... the oh, but it, it goes deep it the was looking like that, but wow, look at Zach. Oh. Just the dedication to go down there, go that extra mile, and make sure his teammate preserves that stock. Well done right there. Great awareness there. And, and honestly, in that situation, I would even gamble that Kerry Hard knew that Zach was in a position to save him uh, as well, so he wasn't worried about a thing, to be honest. Yo, you have that confidence in your teammate. Right. That makes it so much better. Oh, I'm gonna get the follow-up. Wonderful DI there. Get out. Ooh. Oh, good. Excellent witch time right stop. there. Yes. Again, just so much going on, man. It's hard to play around. Uh, it's hard to count for everything, really. Oh, fool with the sneakiest back there coming off that ledge. Going out and deep Zach. and protecting her bay. And you gotta remember, <laughs> I mean, fool lost that stock relatively early. Uh, on the first, you know, couple of seconds the match began, but she's done a good job kind of making up for that. And honestly, their team is actually taking the lead here uh, ever so slightly. The blue team down to the last stock here. Definitely looking up way better than it did first game. Well, that was an awkward oh. trade for Fua. Oh, it actually, she, she traded off the back air, so her jump was exhausted right there and did not have enough juice to get back. So blue team kind of catching a break right there in that regard. Red team still in a good situation yeah, if here. I'm, if I'm red team just knowing, uh, especially uh, Earth right there, just gotta just play really patient when it comes to Zach. They don't give him a free rich time. Uh, and speaking of oh. which, man, I don't, I don't mean, to, I don't, I hate the term commentators press, but when you put it on the screen like that, damn it, there ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> not here. Gonna, gonna leave her alone here, and is she living? Yes, yes she is. But this recovery is gonna be everything. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough two v one, and she is not gonna be able to bring that one back. So that's gonna be uh, going up right there, 2-0 on the part of Zach. So right now, do you think Kiri you should Hara. make that switch? No, honestly, I don't. I think really what kind of got away from there towards the end of it was not enough respect for the witch time. You know your percent's a little high up there. I uh, just gotta take it, take it a little slower. There's a lot of aggression going on, obviously, between the two uh, teams right there. But that's the one thing that I commented on because I knew it was coming. And uh, I was right on the money to be I feel like a lot of these players, like in Smash 4, like I, I feel like a habit around the, you know, just global, is like a lot of people come down with attacks on shield. So as you saw that, he came down with an attack on shield, and of course, Bayonetta was just waiting in the background like, oh, I, right. I got a wish time. All right, so all, right. all these matches, by the way, guys, I believe we're in the top eight, so everything should be contested under uh, best of five. Yep, yep. All right, so we're going to take it to Smashville again, right? I don't even know why we have other stages. <laughs> like, <laughs> they really get you. All right, let's get it. Smashville back at it again. Excuse me, what's the, um, the Rosalina? How do you pronounce the Rosalina's name? Oh, Kirihara. 
Oh, wow. Big, big time. Which time? Open it up from the jump. Oh. And that is so good to go for the leg drop out of the witch time. I love that. Knew it would drag her down enough. And Lucina Jess not with enough, uh, enough oomph right there on that up B to make it back. I think her jump might have been exhausted as well. And again, we see Zach just executing these witch times perfectly and getting so much mileage off of it. You can see the matchup knowledge. You can see the awareness. Noticing every situation. And just these edge guards, they have been magnificent yeah. early on here in this game three. I mean, she died at 38. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, that is a, that is a tremendous start uh, for Blue Team here. They are looking for this 3-0, and they are well on their way if the pace continues. Don't get the follow-up. Doesn't get it. Zach is super aggressive right there on the left side. Exactly. And as um, Lucina, I feel like that's definitely not a position you want to be in. You don't want to try to hold that corner. You want to maintain center stage Sorry. because, of course, her, her recovery is super gimpable. Oh, wow. Killed off the top of that forest, man. It did. Let's get a chance to capitalize out there. Oh, wow. Okay, finally, Earth striking back. We've seen so many times how that witch time has been effective for Zach. And then that time, uh, my man Earth was like, you know what? I got some tricks too, man. I can press down B. And that Don't counter get is so strong. I, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen it like this entire set. Oh, wow. And this is looking like a, it looks like a ride together, die together situation right there. But Pua goes the extra mile to assure Earth able to get back despite some really aggressive edge guarding on the part of Captain Zach. Okay, finally calls out the wish time. Yeah, good patience right there, Pua. Mm. Again, not falling prey to that wish time. So oh, took a couple games, but they finally got a good handle on it so far. And may I say, man, Fua's back airs, the raw back airs have been just amazing this oh, entire set. And that counter right there. And then going, playing around Kiri Haru, who's coming to apply a little bit of pressure right there while she was drifting, having none of it. Fua just going off right now, 126. Going deep, but she's going to lose that yeah. stock, being a little bit too aggressive there. Trying to go for that all-stage pressure with that counter. Yeah, as good as it was, maybe just a matter of time right there. But Zach inadvertently taking out Kiri Haru right there. So, just like that, this is a very even contest. Again, <laughs> I find myself trying to finish a sentence, and the players are just not about it. No, no Truly commentator are. courtesy. Yeah. We need commentator courtesy. I'm saying, man, curse. something. Fua, going to need a little bit of courtesy on uh, the part of Zach and Kiri Hara here. She wants to bring this one back. This is oh, but she a does struggle give right now. But that was a great play, and that's the intensity right there. Not backing down, just keeping on the pressure. And now she's in a very doable situation here. Against Kiri Hara. Oh, I totally love her aggressiveness. That, that that willingness to still go in, even being pressured by two great players and two great ca characters. Right. And gets rid of Luma. She's done a great job this entire set of getting rid of Luma. She is doing an outstanding job thus far. Right. With the double rolls, a little for low right there. Oh, oh no, the shield I, break! Can I get that walk? I Can I get that walk? Actually. Unbe I am ridiculously surprised <laughs> that he elected just, he did like two rolls and then went into that shield floor and was like, okay, okay. See, it's a little low. I'm going to go ahead and take this chance. Roll the dice and come up big. Yo, clutch call out and even more of a clutch play, taking that 2v1 into her favor. That was great. All right, so I wonder what the game four of choice is going to be here. Uh, we've been seeing Smashville, so why do anything else, right? Nashville does seem like a crowd favorite. <laughs> or a player favorite in this case, I guess. So a little bit of deliberation. We'll see what happens here. Can't imagine we're going to see any uh, any drastic changes here. No. Still stick sticking with the character selection here, which worked out perfectly for them last game. Are right, we going to take it to FD, no platforms? I guess that will take a little bit away from Corrin, considering she does use that uh, Dragon Launch. Right. Early recovery there. Yeah, I like this decision to go to FD actually. Put out the platforms, nothing but space. I'm sure Zach is very comfortable with that. Oh, gosh, she has been going so deep for those Edgar. Oh, but catches him in the yeah, Good catch on the witch time. Should be a, a decent amount of damage right there. Not going to threaten the stock just yet. Ooh, that jab one cancel opens 
opens the game up. She has that and also the first hit of the new chair. Outside of the confirming to our other moves. Oh, good catch from Zach. He's gonna take this. Oh, oh my lord, you wanna talk about turning something or nothing into something. Go ahead and clip that, man. That was ridiculous. And then again, just in the air. Just so content. I'm trying to tell people, man, that sass that he has in real life, it transfers in the game as well. Exactly. And I feel like that, that, that translates for a lot of players as far as, like, the aggressiveness. It definitely shows through in their play style. Oh, wow. Right into the up smash. That was a really good up smash right All there. Right. So, Fua, the only member remaining still with three stocks. Remember, she did a tremendous job in that last game, even being able to get it to this game four situation we're having right now. And that rage versus these two light characters definitely will play a factor here later on in the stocks, if she can maintain that stock. But that up smash is going to take that first stock from her, tying the game up 2-2. Two, two. Oh. Right, nice. Fua's doing a good job battling Zach over there on the left side, and then a little assist to her mans as well, and these forward airs just coming through. There goes Luma again. I think Zach made the right decision right there, trying to interrupt what Fool was going, because she would have been putting a lot of damage on Kirihara had he been struggling to recover right there. Well, I like that reset to neutral, but yet again, another risky neutral air, but oh my gosh, Fool were there to capitalize with that force match to protect her teammate. And what an insta-pin. The placement on that was just perfect. Well, offstage again here. Has to watch out. Makes the recovery. Is that what? Yeah, they are swinging for everything right there. Is that Dragon Line going to do it? Nope. Oh. Wow, actually running interference there. Uh, maybe inadvertently as well. All right, and I feel like Captain Sack has to kind of calm down with the wish times, like on his landing, because, uh, blue, excuse me, um, Red Team is starting to pick up on it and wait for it and call it out. So it's a long set, man. You got to imagine adaptation is going to be a thing at some point. Exactly. And I think we're starting to see that shine through right now. Red team still leading here. Very small lead, but they are pressing it as each second ticks down here. Oh, good throw right there. Trying to keep this stage control right there. The forward smash. Wow. It is enough right there. Game five looking very likely, barring an incredible comeback here from Kirihara. See what he can string together. There's a pin. No follow up for four. The up B. Has to be very cautious. Doesn't have a hitbox on that up B. So of course, like edge guarding is going to be optimal right. for Ed, red team. Yeah, four still sitting at two stocks, by the way. So. Throw. Nope. Uh, follow up. Not gonna kill yet. No quitting her game at all. Nice to last minute black back air. And then just trying to exploit that weak recovery of Rosalina there, just tossing her around the stage. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> That'll wrap it up. Only a matter of time right there. You saw him head hunting. They're gonna come up with something, and that time it's a huge win. One game away from completing this uh this 3 0 comeback. No reason to think it's not possible either, man. Would you feel like this would be an upset? Fool versus, well, Fool and uh, Earth? Well, you know what? I mean, I know Fool and Earth, you know, they team together. They have obviously good synergy. Um, but Zach and Kirihara, to my knowledge, is the first time they're, they're teaming, right? So as the set drags on, it, you know, you kind of see who's kind of, you know, getting more of a feel for it on uh, both ends of, of the spectrum. Yeah, so. I don't know. I'm, I couldn't call this up. So I think these are two very capable teams, and it could go either way. So, All right, taking the Dreamland low ceiling is going to play oh, yeah. a factor for both teams. Of course, both of these teams love to kill off top, as we've seen this entire set. Yes, definitely been a little bit of a theme. All right, Fua on this edge has been a definite theme here. Almost losing her stock early on there at 78 percent. All right. To pick up from Zach. We're going to turn this into something real. And that's some real damage. 102 already on Fua here. Trying to find her way back to the stage. And she does so in a very aggressive manner as Earth, having no problems, just kind of swatting Kirihara away and out of his face. Oh, what an <laughs> what <a> F smash. <laughs> you 
Oh, good catch right there. Not gonna just give her that free drift down. All right, Red Team kind of struggling to find their way back to center stage here. Blue Team doing a great job just maintaining that center stage control. Yeah, definitely seeing a little bit of a struggle there on Fua's end. She was just getting tossed around right there. Kerry Hard just kind of putting a stamp on her. All right, so Red Team each a stock down here. Right, off stage, Kevin Zach. Yep. Nothing new right there for Zach. There's bread and butter right there. It's like a footstool. Yeah, Stunting right now for back air. Clear him off the stage, trying to work on that stock, but no. Relentless when it counts, but Kiri Hard, no say in the matter on dropping that stock right there. Good pickup from her. Yeah, finally getting rid of that first stock of Kiri Hard. Oh, all right, gonna take the second one, and now we have an even game. It's not on the percentages. Yeah, definitely favoring uh, favoring blue team thus far. Right, on stage once again, Bullish, she has to watch out here. Is that going deep for the edge guard? There goes another witch time. Trying to predict the landing there, but yeah. Fuhr there with the coverage. I would, yeah, I feel like she, he was attempting to play around Fuhr maybe, but... I'm not really sure what went awry right there. I know what went wrong there below Rosalina, and you are going to stay there. Struggle is definitely real right here for Blue Team, or excuse me, for Red Team. And Earth already sitting at 120, but of course, we, um, Corn is quite dense of a character, but I don't feel like she would live that long considering she's going against Bayonetta and Rosalina. I feel you. There it goes, the spike. Just running it back, man. K-Hard just so deadly, man. Just strike at any time. Especially Definitely. when you're in a position like that. That is not something uh, free stock you're looking to give away right there. But again, no choice in the matter. Worst match coming out for four. Kind of trying to bring this back here, but still a stock down. Reaches for that one. God bless her. She's trying. On stage. Again, oh, Zach. Or is, that, is that it? Oh, not quite. He's doing a good job with the witch switch, just knocking him towards the right. And that, that preemptive butt B right there might have just kept, kept Earth alive, or at least from taking too much damage right there. Whoa, no, no, no punish. <laughs> Very questionable there. Poor Captain Zach. Don't see him miss a lot of those. Oh my, and that's like the third or fourth time Kiri Hara has just sent somebody to the emergency room. <laughs> Definitely has going deep, more so in this game than the entire set. Right. Oh, with the, wow, the S. Yeah, I was going to say Fool with the tall task right there. Just got a little bit easier, but not by much. 125 facing down the barrel of Bayonetta and Rosalina, pretty much fresh on their stocks. Going to be a difficult one to do. All starts with getting back to the stage with oh, Zach is doing a good job being aggressive right there with his edge guarding. Not making it easier for her at all. Yeah, that's going to be it. Predicting the armor, settling with that up smash. And yeah, that'll wrap it up right there. Good effort uh, from Fua and Earth, but they're going to fall a little bit short here. That Captain like, Zach and Kerry are getting it done. Exactly. And what was that? Uh, losers or winners? Was that win losers? Losers? All right. What, that match we just saw? Yeah. Yeah, that was a loser bracket, I believe. So, really good loser bracket match right there. Like I said, man, all these matches you're getting are definitely going to be quality. My heart is starving, man. Like, when I walked in the venue, I was like, I'm so glad that I only commentate. Like, because like, <laughs> be, being a player, walking amongst, like, all this talent, it has to be stressful. And then you have it the is. crowd in the background. You have hype going on over here. You have speakers over here. It has to, like, kind of get you a little razzled. But, um, I mean, for my money, like, I would, I don't know. There's some players who, who yeah, it does bother a lot. And, you, you know, it's pretty obvious to tell. But then those guys who just kind of feed off the crowd, yeah. especially when the crowd's against them and play even at a higher elevated level. Yeah. Uh, shots I think that's zero. E, I feel like that's e, um, e Sam too. Like e Sam. E Sam, every time he has, like, a crowd that hates on him, he wins the set, and you always see him just turn around. But you can't, you can't stop. He doesn't get it, man. Sometimes I don't get it either. I don't know. He's a very nice guy, but uh, right. him and MVD doing work on uh, on the frame purple.